And hello everybody, my name is here and welcome back to my let's play of Broken Sword 3. There's nothing in here. I considered leaving the apartment. And let's go. I decided to visit Vonnen's place. Because there was that. Skate guy, can we talk to him? Hey, there he is. Hey, skate guy. Skate guy. Wait. Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. You are looking for something? I might be. <laughs> you have come to the <laughs> right place. <laughs> right place, right guy, huh? That's how it looks to me, too. Were you around a little earlier? Oh, I've been around a while. Oh, that's good. I'm a reporter and I need to ask you a few questions. Mm. Did you see a woman run past a little earlier? Don't think so. Women usually <laughs> slow down on this corner. They probably <laughs> can't believe what they're hearing. What? I said I can quite believe it. <laughs> you could try a twitcher. Who's he? She. The traffic warden. Doesn't miss a thing. Mm. Uh, you should get yourself a new photographer, honey. Oh, <laughs> do you think so? Drop by my studio sometime. Take a look at this wig. Yeah, nice, but not really my style. <laughs> the woman who wore this has just killed someone. I don't blame her. I'd want to <laughs> kill someone if I had to wear that wig. Do you happen to know a guy called Vernon? The coder? Yes. Yeah. yeah he's cool. Hangs out in the park with his girlfriend. I'm afraid he's been killed. Shot. Oh man, that's too bad. Still, a neighborhood like this, uh, only the brave survive. Huh? Mm? Have you seen a shell casing before? Sure. It's from a real gun. Big deal. It was a <laughs> big deal. For somebody. So <laughs> where's your posse? What? <laughs> big guy like you? Gotta have a posse, surely. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, uh, I got two. Wow. <laughs> How about you? you? You got a posse? Oh, yeah. But I like to keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> got you. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Okay. Mm. We need to talk. Bonjour, madame. You again, huh? Can't you see I'm busy? This wig belongs to someone I'm looking for. Nice. Mm. <laughs> At Le Moulin Rouge, we <laughs> always had such beautiful wigs. Really? Have you seen anyone wearing this wig? No. Was she a dancer? Something no. much worse. Pah! A singer, then. <laughs> True, yeah. That. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir. No. Mm, yeah. mm. Hmm. Hmm. There isn't anything in here, right? We talked everything to her. The girlfriend lived. Bonjour. Yes. Yes. Hi. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Hmm. Do we need to go here or? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I think we have talked to everybody, right? Hello? The door was securely locked. I don't think we can do anything here. Well, let's leave. Yeah. Let's see if we, if we can call somebody from home or something. But now we have talked to everybody in here.
Let's go for them. I considered leaving the area and decided to go back to my apartment. Let's see if there is something in here that we can do. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the time to spend watching TV. Really? I thought I should check my messages. You have no new messages. Okay. So much for my <laughs> busy social life. Perhaps I should make a call. Mm -hmm. I wondered if Andre might have any ideas. Yeah. Andre Lobino. Hi, Andre. How about this? The murderer was wearing a wig. Sounds more like a job for the fashion <laughs> police. Ha! No, Andre, listen. The wig was an exact copy of my own hair. Ah, I see. Well, clearly you must track her down. What about witnesses? Worse than useless. Any clues in the wig itself? I never thought of that. Okay. Andre, I'm going to get back to the investigation. I didn't check out the wig, by the way, yeah. The label inside had been cut out. The killer had covered her tracks. Almost. There were a few strands of blonde hair inside. So the woman I'm after really has blonde hair, not black. Okay, so can I go and talk about... I considered leaving the apartment. About the... Uh, and decided to visit Vonnen's place. Yeah, can we talk about the blonde woman then? Hey. Hey, man. Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. Nice board. <laughs> hey, it's not uh, just a board, it's uh, what you do with it. <laughs> so I hear. Mm -hmm. The blonde woman one. I'm looking for is a blonde. Me too. You're a funny guy. Hey, I am <laughs> to please. But seriously, didn't you say you are looking for a woman with dark hair? Did I? You've got me all confused now. I know, <laughs> uh, I have that effect on women. <laughs> I haven't seen any women running around. Most babes tend to stop when they see how I can handle a board. <laughs> I'd love to hang out with you, but I have work to do. Easy come, easy go. See you around, baby. Have you seen a blonde woman? Bonjour, madame. <laughs> you again, huh? Can't you see I'm busy? Sure. Have you seen a young blonde woman by any chance? I certainly have. Skinny looking thing. Like <laughs> you. Thanks. Which way did she go? She got into a sports car and drove off. Do you happen to know the make of car? What do you take me <laughs> for? Some kind of mechanic? You'll have to ask someone else. Okay. Just one thing. Your husband, Alphonse. Is he around? No. I thought perhaps he might have seen something. It's unlikely. Why? He left me 20 <laughs> years ago. Ran away. Okay. With a singer? That's amazing. How did you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir. Now we can go and talk to the... This lake. Bonjour. Yes. Yes. Did you see a blonde woman running by here earlier? Yes. Around your size, good build, muscle tone, shoe size three, maybe four, and I think not French. Really? It's amazing. No, not amazing. Just good training. Training? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not at liberty to tell you anything more. Okay. That's sports car. Did you see a sports car earlier? I see a lot of sports cars in the course of a day. If you had some details, I could help. Did you see a sports car earlier? I see a lot of sports cars in the course of a day. Huh? If you had some details, I could help. Okay, so we need to Thanks find the cheese house. Goodbye. Did the skateboard guy see a sports car? Who do we have? 
No. Ah, it already there. No. Hey, skateboard guy. Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. Uh, did you see a sports car? Don't suppose you saw a sports car in the area earlier. The red E-type Jag, you mean? Yes. Why did you notice it? I used to run one a little like it. Did you happen to get the registration number? Hey, there's only one set of numbers <laughs> I like. And I'm not talking shoe size, huh? Okay. Thanks. Anyway. I <laughs> hope you catch the killer. Yeah, me I too. Will. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. But now we have more information about the car, so... Now this lady should be able to help us more. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Lubina. Bonjour. Yes. Yes. Did you see the E-type Jag that was in the area earlier? Yes, I did. I believe it belonged to the killer. And they say crime doesn't pay. <laughs> what can you tell me about it? It was parked illegally. I gave it a ticket. Great. Do you have the registration number? Uh, here it is. 451 CAC 75. Nice. Merci. Merci. Can you tell me anything else about the car? Hmm. You know, there was some kind of mask on the passenger seat. <laughs> mask? mask? You mean like a child's mask? No, an old mask. The kind they wear in a the theater. Merci, madame. You've been a great help. It is but a courtesy from one professional to another. Of course. Thank you. The police? Sounds like the police are on their way. I would appreciate it if you kept our little conversation to yourself. You understand? Yes. Of course. I wouldn't want to blow your cover. Exactly. By the way, just who do you work for? Can I trust you? Of course. One day soon, <laughs> the aliens will land. <laughs> we are preparing to fight them. <laughs> what the hell? Join us if you wish. Sure. That's uh, very kind of you. But I have to go now. Au revoir. What's going on? There has been a murder. We are questioning everyone in the area. Okay. What is your name? Nicole Collard. It's her, all right. Please Nicole Collard. What? Why? I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. It is. Come on, speak up. Nicole Collard. Aha. The woman he had arranged to meet. She's a tough one, I think so. <laughs> like me to loosen her tongue a little. <laughs> Not quite yet. Your identity card, please. My press card. A journalist. Typical. <laughs> Do you have a problem with journalists? Only the spineless, lying, interfering <laughs> variety. <laughs> Looks like I'm in trouble then. She's the murderer, monsieur. Lock her up before she kills us all. Control yourself, madame. I'm conducting an investigation here. And we're getting on so well. How did you know the dead man? He contacted me through my paper. He wanted to meet. Why? Some uh, nonsense about the end of the world. Why did you kill him? I didn't. But you admit you were here. He was already <laughs> dead when I arrived. I broke in through the bedroom window. The killer was still here. And? We fought through there, in the kitchen. Then she ran off down the fire escape and I lost her. Mm. Hmm. There are certainly signs of a struggle. Inspector. We. Oui. Nico Clark. How did you know Vernon was due to meet me? Your message on the answer phone. Okay. The woman I fought was really a blonde. The neighbor said she had dark hair. She wore a wig. How very convenient for you. Have you any idea why he was killed? None at all. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it was to stop him talking to me. Not everybody rates journalists so highly, mademoiselle. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got the number of the killer's car. My, you are being helpful. Are you quite sure you're a journalist? Do you want the number or not? Very well. 451 CAC 75. Thanks. Here's the wig the killer wore. I'll take that as evidence. Where did you find it? Over the wall at the back of the apartment. 
Oh, I see. How oh, terrible. You've been framed. Correct, yes. Inspector. She's the killer. I saw her with my own eyes. Am I free to go? Don't let her get away. The evidence is clear enough. I'm placing you under arrest, Mademoiselle Collar. Officer, take her away. With pleasure, sir. Really? But I'm innocent. Okay. George? Back to George. Back to George. Huh? Can you hear me? Can you speak? Who are you? Chum. Yeah? Chum. Chum. That's okay. I'm your chum. <laughs> chum. What? The world is in danger. Oh no. Susaro. Who is Susaro? <laughs> Just a few more seconds and he could have told me so much. Poor guy. This was the kind of job I could do with my eyes shut. In fact, that's normally how I did it. All I found was his ID. Chalmundali. The guy I was supposed to meet. Chalmundali. Chalmundali was dead, all right. He'd been shot. Mm. The workbench was a mess. But I hadn't flown halfway <laughs> around the world to critique someone's housekeeping. <laughs> In amongst the junk was a postcard. Nice. All the way from England. Some place called Glastonbury. Glastonbury? It was signed Bruno. Mm -hmm. A second look turned up a magnifying glass. Suddenly I was five years old and back in California, mm -hmm. setting fire to my father's sun hat. Mm -hmm. There was nothing else of interest. A couple of packing cases. Someone was obviously in a hurry to leave. They'd been packed in a rush. There was nothing inside it that was any use to me. Really? Okay, so we... Mm. It was like a giant omega. Mm. And in the center, some kind of slot. I don't think we have anything. The postcard showed a picture of a quaint English village. On the back was a message. Have had to leave Paris in a hurry. Mm. Suggest you do the same. Suzaro is on to you. Your friend, Bruno. The postmark showed that it had been sent from a place called Glastonbury. The ID card belonged to the dead inventor, Chalmundali. The magnifying glass was a real beauty. <laughs> Nothing happened. Oh no, shite. It certainly didn't look comfortable. Now wasn't the time for a nap. Are you sure, George? Mm -hmm. The old pressure pad trick, eh? Okay. So now we know. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Let's do this. Uh. Uh. Noink. some kind of housing on the wall and in the center was a hole I stuck my finger in the hole nothing happened mm. I wasn't gonna do that you sure what is this wow so <laughs> the guy actually built the thing I wondered if I could get it to work no, I don't think. Hmm? The windows were too small to escape through. The machine spluttered like an engine starved of fuel. That was stupid. Yeah, 
We broke it. Hmm. That attracted some attention. Question was, good guys or bad guys? Bad guys, probably. Is there anything that I can take? Yeah, this one. I took the lever. Hmm. I had no reason to try that. What's not in here? The rod looked about the right size to fit the hole. Cool, it fits. No. What the heck? Would I do that? Oh, 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 I think we can do this one. Ah. Push this one to the door. Or not. I was going to have to find another way out. It was now broken beyond repair. Oh, there. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I think that is our way out. George. No, oh. I couldn't reach the nest. Hmm. Can we use this one? No, there wasn't a reason to try that. That wasn't quite right. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay, so shimmy shimmy shimmy. Yot, yot, yot. Oh, George. Out of the corner of my eye, I caught sight of a familiar shape. Harry had made it after all. It was full of charred wood. I didn't want to move it. Oh, can we do this? The wood smoldered a little, but wouldn't catch fire. Hmm. There wasn't a reason to try that. That wasn't such a good idea. I think we need them. Nest. How can we get it? We need to do something. I had no reason to try that. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't work. There wasn't a reason to try that. Mm -hmm. It 
It was now broken beyond repair. The cylinders were connected to the inventor's machine. Okay. I removed the rod from the hole in the wall. Can I use the rod in here? Yes. Nice. That did the trick. Yeah. Okay. There we go, there we go. Come on, George. Yoink. 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 Down. Whoop. It's nice. There we go, George. This was my kindling. Yes. It was your kindling. And then we can use this one. Look, monsieur. The evil. It is come. <laughs> Hmm. Ooh, George. Run, man. Ouch. Nice work, George. Get up, man. George, quickly over here. Run. Imbeciles. It's a trick. Get back here now. Come, George. Kill them. <laughs> yeah, I went waited too long. <laughs> okay. No, wrong button. <laughs> yeah, wait just too long, yeah. George! Oof. Ah. Come on, George. Yeah, I thought it is that he's gonna run automatically. But it seems that we need to run ourselves. George! Quickly! Over here! Yeah, yeah. Come in, come in, come. What? I wasn't going back to the office in Idaho. I'd had my fill of patents. No, I was going to England to find the mysterious Bruno. 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 Marsh. <laughs> Glastonbury, England. Home to more legends and mystical baloney than you could wave a wand at. <laughs> Joseph of Arimathea was supposed to have traveled here from the Holy Land. And he didn't do it to buy an overpriced crystal. Really? Somewhere in amongst all this new age hokum was a guy called Bruno, and I was going to find him. Okay, so this is all new to me. Yep, never. Or at least I don't remember. Good luck. Hello? Anybody home? There is somebody walking in here. Hey, are you Bruno? Oh, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah isn't it? No, sir, it is not. <laughs> What's so bad about it, if you don't mind me asking? 
you wouldn't understand. Are you sure? Not possible, sir. Unless you're a father, and you're not, are you? Well, no, no but well, how did you know? <laughs> Look at you. Can no face. A <laughs> brow, air of profound optimism. So just what is it that only a father would understand? I could tell you, but you wouldn't comprehend. Try me. I kept sea monkeys once. I mean, how different could it be? <laughs> Very well. Are you aware of the annual Glastonbury Popular Music Festival? No. The Glastonbury Popular Music Festival? Hmm. That's one of the most popular music festivals on the Popular Music Festival calendar. My daughter, Melissa, attended it this year. Against my wishes, of course. Okay. You're not a fan, huh? My dear boy. Joining a throng of semi-clad youngsters, gyrating in a mindless hypnotic trance to music which turns their hearts into yo-yos, all the while yo -yos. feeding on hippie fast food, strange alcoholic concoctions, and mind-bending hallucinogenic <laughs> substances is not my idea of fun! Whoa, okay. bring it on! I beg your pardon? I said, did your daughter enjoy it? She didn't come back. Ah, have you told the police? This isn't a job for the police. <laughs> this appalled me to say she wouldn't be coming home. She called from a Glastonbury number. She's still here somewhere. And okay. if she's taken up with someone, well, I've got my Purdy in the Land Rover. Purdy? Twelve bore, double barrel, <laughs> vermin for the extermination of. <laughs> okay. Your shirt's gone. <laughs> my name's George Stobart. A Yankee? Eh? <laughs> Colonel Buckley. Rutland Lancers, 3rd Battalion, retired. You know, I had a feeling you might be a soldier. Can take the fella out of the army, <laughs> can't take the army out of the fella, eh? Yeah. It could have been that. It might also have been the aura of latent violence <laughs> that surrounded him. <laughs> Recognize this? Glastonbury Tor. What do you know about the Tor? Good place to deploy artillery. Really? Right. Okay, thanks. Does this ID card mean anything to you? It's not yours. Never seen the chap. Did you find it? Yeah. Then you should hand it in at the police station. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Back, Alan. Oh, hey. I'm back here. Back where? The place looked empty. No buskers, circulars, hawkers. I wasn't leaving until I'd finished I thought what I'd, I'd leave come there to Where are we? How the heck did we get there? From there. That shouldn't be. We found your daughter. I guess that being the middle of the morning, most people were at work. Probably. Is this a bub? Cheerio! Hello? Oh, this is... These were the kind of books that sat and glowered at you. Casting the rune. <laughs> the real Eltdown shards. Karnaki, the ghost finder. Even the air felt cold <laughs> near them. I didn't want any of the books. Not <laughs> my idea of a holiday read. Are you sure? The stand contained postcards, pictures of local beauty spots, the usual stuff. And suddenly, there it was. A stack of cards just like the one I'd found in the condo. I was on the right trail. Nice. Okay. I hadn't come here to send postcards. Okay. Hey, man. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Welcome to the Cosmic Fairy. I am Tristram Hillage, the proprietor. Tristram. May I help you? I hope so. How's business? Rather good, actually. Seems really? quiet. You just missed the rush. Okay. What kind of people shop in a place like this, anyway? People with open minds. <laughs> Do you keep your mind open to new possibilities? Oh, Ooh. constantly. Some of the things I'd seen, I'd be a fool not to. <laughs> I guess Glastonbury's a pretty mystical place. Almost too mystical to bear. Joseph Arimathea journeyed here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The tale of King Arthur, Guinevere and Excalibur finishes here. 
Wow. Really? And the tour, that big hill, is the gateway to Avalon, the land of fairy. We also really? get crop circles, UFO sightings. <laughs> everything. Is that everything? Well, then there's the ghosts, hellhounds, spectral lights. Okay, okay, okay. it's mystical already. Mm. Yeah. Do you stock these postcards? Yes, one of our exclusive best sellers. Do you supply any of the other shops with these? No, that's what exclusive means. Yes. Really? I never knew that. <laughs> really? Definitely. How else may I illuminate your path? Does the name Bruno mean anything to you? Hmm. Bruno. Bruno. No, I don't think so. Really? Yes, really. You sure? Of course I'm sure. <laughs> I've never even met anyone called Bruno. You seem Bruno. very positive. His tone made me immediately suspicious. Sure. Something tells me you're not on the level. Who is Bruno? Where can I find him? Upstairs. I don't know who you're talking about. Now get out of my shop, you annoying man. Oh, I'll get out. Once you've answered a few questions. Oh, God. You're not a tax inspector, are you? No. Hell no. I may be a lawyer, but I still got a few shreds of pride <laughs> left. Yeah. Do you know this guy? Have you ever seen the guy on this card before? No, I haven't. Okay. Are you going to tell me who Bruno is or not? Not. Don't forget, you're dealing with a lawyer here. An American lawyer. <laughs> I can't see our local Bobby being impressed. This guy was going to be a tougher nut to crack than I thought. Hey, there's someone moving around up there. Nonsense. It's just an old building. You must think I'm pretty stupid. Bruno's upstairs. No, he's not. I'll give you one last chance to come clean. Get lost. I was getting nowhere. This was why I was in patents and not criminal law. <laughs> what if we... Tell this guy that... Your daughter might be there. Huh? Hello? Hello again. That's an interesting shop. The Cosmic Fairy. Place is full of woolly minded liberals and frou frou socialists. <laughs> okay. You can just scratch. Hmm? Nope. Yeah, this bad. Yeah, I think the game crashed. That's nice. Let me just pause the recording. Okay, so yeah, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems that it was a great idea to save here. Oh, there is something there. Miss Granger's perfect potions. Love potions, <laughs> money potions, potions to make you taller. <laughs> there was something in the small print. Granger Publications cannot take responsibility for side effects or <laughs> failures in primary potion effects. Okay. Guess even witches fear the wrath of the litigation lawyer. I didn't want the chart. Yeah, let's make a new save. Yeah, 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 the game crashed or something. I don't know what happened there. Hello again. That's an interesting shop. The Cosmic Fairy. Place is full of woolly minded liberals and frou frou socialists. So I guess you won't be opening a charge account there. <laughs> Don't be fatuous. But I've got my eye on the place. <laughs> that hillage fellow is up to something. Yeah? What do you think goes on in there? I've been asking around. Mm -hmm. He used to rent his spare room out. Claims it's empty now. But I've seen a light on him there after he's gone home. Yeah. Maybe the little people are having a <laughs> poker game. He's harboring somebody. Yes. I bet my wife on it. I'd even bet the dog on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a great idea to save there because then we could, would have to be. Oh, you're back here. Well, that didn't go anywhere interesting. 
Hmm. Hmm. Curious, I'm curious. Hmm. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's hope the game isn't going to be crashing too much. Hi again. Inside the case was a star-shaped gizmo. The little card by it <laughs> said Elder Sign. Guaranteed proof against Elder Gods and Outer Entities. Could have used that a few years ago. Yeah. True. I thought the star was cute, but I didn't really need it. Hey, customers are not allowed upstairs. Right. On the wall was a chart telling me everything I ever wanted to know about pentacles. It could have been a lot shorter and done the same job. <laughs> I didn't want to take the chart. What the display this? was covered in creepy little booklets. The Rosicrucians and Reality TV. The Aleister Crowley cookbook. Huh? Conversational Enochian. And behind each title, a sad writer on a royalty deal. I didn't want any of the creepy little booklets. You sure? Enchanted Avalon. Lays of a mystical age. Well, this looked like big fun. Ah, you found my little herb. I guess for an herbra, <laughs> it is quite small. What do you mean? <laughs> it's a book of poetry. It could be any size. Are you sure? Cover? Thank you. My choice, actually. I self-publish it. The big publishers just don't understand spirituality. What's the deal with <laughs> the coins? Joseph of Arimathea bringing the Holy Grail here. Really? Arthur and Guinevere being buried here. And, of course, St. Michael defeating the dragon on the tour. Hmm? Each silver coin commemorates an event in Glastonbury's history. History? Oh, okay. Sounded more like folklore to me. Silver, you say? Well... The silver plated. I have a dear friend who does them for me. Really? For there was lightning in my blood, my dark Morgana, my own Morgana. Oh, there was lightning in my blood. Red lightning lightened through my blood, my dark Morgana. What do you think? Uh, pretty good. Yes, I was rather pleased with it myself. <laughs> Can I talk Hi to again. You? <laughs> Okay, so we need to get that guy move so we can get inside our upstairs, I mean. Hello, man. Hey, friend. Can I ask you help? Hello again. No. No, there's... Can we get inside here? I tried to open the door. The door was locked. It wasn't opening time yet. Okay. So we need to... Oh, there's another guy here. Hello? Hi, my name's Stobart. George Stobart. How fascinating. Two T's and two B's. <laughs> You'd be amazed how many people get it wrong. Ah, nothing amazes me these days. Eamon O'Mara. You're Irish? No, no, I'm from Hawaii. The Maui O'Maras. You're oh. not from Hawaii. No, I'm not. I lied. Very astute of you to see through it. You clearly have a lucid and highly rational cognitive process. Sure. So what do you want, Mr. Stobart? Mm -hmm. Mr. Stobart? I'm researching. Outside a pub? I'm researching the alacrity with which this place opens. <laughs> in a civilized society, a man should be able to get a drink at this hour. It's ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> you can't need a drink that much, can you? Ah, now that's a complicated question. Let's discuss it over a beer. Uh, it's too early for me. Very wise. <laughs> I'll be rattled before me time. Me liver riddled with the cirrhosis. Rattled and riddled. Ah, well. So, what do you do? Um, good morning. 
I'm Eamon O'Mara, and today I'm in the enchanting town of Glastonbury. I'm yeah. sorry, uh, I no. have no idea what you're talking about. Of I thought you haven't. Now, wait a minute. I'm here as a professional media Irishman researching my new BBC program. Oh, you're putting oh. together a TV show. Bingo, give the man a figurative coconut. <laughs> I visit villages, interview the local characters, sample the local cuisine. What's the show called? Up Your Alley with Eamon. <laughs> nice. And you're doing this place next. That's that finely tuned cognitive process of yours in action again, isn't it? Yes. How did you get into television? By accident. <laughs> I was doing a reading at a bookshop in London. Really? This wild-eyed BBC producer wanders in, points at me like I'm the second coming, and says, You'll do, you'll do. <laughs> You're a writer? Wash your mouth out. I'm a poet. Poetry is a gift to the Irish from the gods themselves. Really? Yeats, Wilde, Joyce, Bono. Don't push your luck. I <laughs> may have the soul of a poet, but I've the fists of a welterweight. <laughs> Have you seen that guy walking up and down? The army type. Mm, kind of Englishman I'm allergic to. Oh? Why is that? Well, if you have huh? a couple of hundred years, I'll explain it to you. I'm worried he might be out to kill someone. Ah, now you're beginning to understand my <laughs> allergy. What do you think of the town? It's a theme park. So where'd the tourists go? I don't know. Maybe it's out of season for hippies. Do you know much about this place? It's got half decent pubs when they're okay. open. <laughs> oh, I see. You want to know about the fairy stuff, don't you? Fairies? You see that hill? Yeah. Fairies guard King Arthur's sword Excalibur under that. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> Have you been in that shop, the Cosmic Fairy? Oh, yeah. I always go there for me love beads. I was just asking. Does this postcard mean anything to you? No. Should it? I guess not. It was a long shot. Who's Bruno? I wish I knew. Does this ID card mean anything to you? It's an unflattering photo. It doesn't look anything like you. That isn't me. No, I didn't <laughs> think so. You're one of those godforsaken photogenic types, aren't you? And no, it doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Eamon. I tried to open the door. But it was securely locked. Of course. Hmm. Hmm. We need to get the upstairs somehow. This is the wrong place. Anybody home? No. Hmm. Can I keep? Do we still have the? No, we don't have beer. <laughs> Just can I give the beer to the guy? Okay. Hi again. Okay. okay, okay. Hi yeah. again. Yeah, but yeah, you do have it. Hmm. How can we get this guy to the? Hey, customers are not allowed upstairs. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Darkness or the world is creeping. Slumber while the heavens are weeping. More good stuff. Maybe my first impressions have been wrong. Maybe. If any man slay me, not unaware, by no chance blow, nor in wine or revel, I have stored beforehand <laughs> a curse in my prayer for his kith and kindred. His deed is evil. Oh, yeah? I didn't have time to read any more of the poems. <laughs> Got it. On the counter were copies of the little poetry book with the coins in the covers. Don't tell me you asked again. No. Hi again. 
Yeah, but let's save now so we don't. The stand contained postcards, pictures of local beauty spots, the usual stuff. It was an elder sign for warding off things that are slimier than vampires. Okay. Hmm. The shelves had some seriously creepy books on them. <laughs> hey! Customers are not allowed upstairs! Right. Uh, hmm. What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing that we can really use. Hmm. That didn't take us anywhere. What if we go back here? Where does it take us? Go back here. Okay. Weird. I could have sworn I didn't take a corner back there. Yeah, sure. Oh, I think it is soon time to end this episode. Is there anything I can talk to you now? Again. Yeah, Ian. That guy over there looks suspicious to me. Ah, I've seen suspicious, and he isn't it. Oh, so what does suspicious look like? <laughs> Take a glance in the mirror sometime, young fella. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Mm, I think it is. Or is this place open? No. Nobody was in. Or maybe they just didn't want to talk to me. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think we have anything to him. Hi, Eamon. I wasn't leaving until I'd finished what I'd come here to do. Yeah, I know. Oh, what is this? Hello? Anybody home? No. Okay. We get the kicks. Our wrist is the very place. No. There you go. Hi, I'm. Nobody tell me. Me and Madam Zazi. Me know all. I miss the all. Sit down, you. You have traveled far. Oh, sure. Like my accent was local. <laughs> you come for the truth. And yes. another no brainer. Judge Stuba. What? Stuba. How did you me know all? <laughs> me see all. Okay. okay. I now we're that's something. Jar. Okay, so we can't save here. So let's do this. What do your powers tell you about that man outside the pub? Him come from across the sea. Him have strongly held opinions. Him seek knowledge, but not for himself. All that okay. from your crystal ball? No, him just on the telly. That's him on Omara. Yeah. What do you make of that guy pacing up and down the street? His aura glow, red with anger. Kind of yeah. matches his nose, then. Him <laughs> I lost something dear from himself, and him can't do nothing to prevent it. Well, we all have to let go sometime. What do you know about that shop, the Cosmic Fairy? Them sell candles. Incense, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but the owner, Tristan Hillich, oh, me know him overwrought. Okay. There is anxiety in his aura. Got his karma in a twist, huh? Yes. I'm just trying to lighten the atmosphere. <laughs> How long have you lived in Glastonbury? Long time. Okay. 
The toad generate wave of positive energy. And sure. revenue. A girl can't live on good vibrations alone, huh? Recognize this postcard? Mm-hmm. It is the tour. These are for sale in the Cosmic Fairy. Yeah. Yeah, that was where it was bought. I need to find out about who sent it, though. Give it to me now. What? Why? Sometime there is psychic traces. Ew. Okay. Me may be able to read the traces left by this Bruno when he wrote upon it. There we go. Aren't we forgetting something? Uh, please? You must cross my palm with silver. Oh, oh, right, sure. Okay, uh, I got a credit card here somewhere. Me no no except credit card, you know. I've got some euros, I think. Me no take euros. Hmm, how about doubloons? Gold ingots? A barter stick? It's <laughs> only silver me accept, you know. Hmm. So we need to get silver. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's save here. And we are gonna end this episode and continue on the next one. But thanks for everybody who came to watch my video. And if you like, just give it a like and leave a comment. And if you really like, just give my channel a sub. And see you next time. Bye bye.